Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 23rd of 2022. Well, it is titled Saturn, Tethys, Rings and Shadows. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image taken by the Cassini spacecraft back in 2005. And the Cassini spacecraft orbited Saturn for a decade observing the ringed planets and its planet and its moons. So here we see one of those images in great detail. Now one thing we'll notice when we look at the the clouds of Saturn that we don't see any great structures. When we look at Jupiter, we see lots of structure in the clouds. On Saturn, we see far less. And that's because Saturn is a colder planet and the clouds that we would see are buried deeper down under the surface of the clouds and hidden in a haze. So they're all more washed out than we're used to seeing the bright clouds on Jupiter, which are much closer to the top of the atmosphere. Now we also see uh, one of the moons and that is the moon Tethys there and we can see it in a crescent phase as with any uh, solid object that does not emit its own light it will appear in phases if looked from the right directions. So the moons of Saturn will go through phases as seen from that area just as our own moon goes through phases as it orbits around Earth. And this is a relatively small moon, only about a thousand kilometers in diameter. Saturn has only one really large moon, and that is the large moon Titan, the only moon in the solar system with a significant atmosphere. Now we also see the rings of Saturn and the rings stretching out there towards the right hand side and in fact off the image. And if we look at the rings themselves, we can see a little bit of structure, some lighter and darker areas. But if we really want to see the detail in the rings, we look at the shadows of them that are cast on Saturn. So darker areas on the top of Saturn are where the rings are very dense and blocking out a lot of light from the sun. The lighter areas are where the rings are not as dense, not as many particles and the sunlight is able to get through. So we can see a lot of that structure, even though the rings themselves are not showing the structure in this image, at least not all of it, we can see all the detailed structure there and how the rings are made up of many, many ringlets. So lots of different little bits of ring. And those are all kept in place by the moons of Saturn. So the moons will help to shepherd some of these Saturn, some of these uh, particles and keep them in a very uh, sharp edges as the moons orbit around close and use their gravity to keep them in place. The moons also will cause the patterns we see within the rings by clearing out certain areas using their gravitational uh, fields. So moons that are further away may be in what we call a resonance with some areas of the rings and will orbit in a, a whole number ratio say two to one. And that would mean that two orbits of the ring particles means one orbit of the moon. And those will over time clear out those regions and we see those gaps as areas where there's far fewer ring particles visible. So the rings themselves are really shaped by many of the moons of Saturn that help keep them as we see them today. So that was our picture of the day for January 23rd of 2022. It was titled Saturn, Tethys, Rings and Shadows. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be which star. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.